Hello everybody, this is Rich Sis with his Mad Cat Sphere, and I'm going to dive into something that I haven't really spoken about in the past on my channel, my Psychonesis channel, and that is um, the astrological signs, um, the zodiac signs, and what elements they're connected to, the earth elements. And um, as you can see here, there's a little um, a little um, diagram here talking about a fire, water, earth, and air. And as you can see underneath the, those words, there's um, to the left, fire is connected to um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. They're strong, emotional, enthusiastic, passionate, temperamental, achiever, interesting. Water to the to, uh, next of that is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Refreshing, charming, mysterious, private, sensitive, emotional, earth. Next to that one is uh, Terrace, Virgo, Capricorn, dependable, grounded, reliable, materialistic, loyal, practical. And then air to the far right at the end is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, powerful, creativity, fun, ideas, adventurous, and exciting. So if you're, Vir if you're a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, you're, you should work well with uh, geokinesis. That's with uh, dirt, rocks, sand, and just basically just things that evolve with, uh, with the earth. You know, um, you, you you should try to practice geokinesis, and you can look it up on uh, Trevor's work with geokinesis. I think he has, or maybe he has, or something like that. So if you're a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, look into that. In air, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, um, you should probably try some aerokinesis. You know, look into it, um, investigate in it a little bit. And uh, try to practice with aerokinesis, you know, working outside with a pinwheel, working outside with a side wheel. And uh, working outside with a can or something like that, try to develop control. And with any of these kinetic abilities, remember that you have to believe in what you're seeing and believe that any movement is coming from you, and that's how you develop c control over the object and the elements surrounding the, surrounding the object. And and that'll help you to be more stronger. So a fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, work with uh, a little bit of fire or something like that, but be safe. You know, try to put out a fire, snuff out a fire. Trevor Seven has done it. You can look on his channel, see it. Putting out a fire. And then with water, we have um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. These are the astrological signs that are deeply involved with water. But like I said, um, anybody that uh, practices psychonesis, like we all do, are doing, which is an umbrella term for all the abilities, can develop... Um, water abilities and water control um, with work and the water the people can the 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 astrological signs that are involved with water can also do fire and fire can do earth and earth can do air and air can do earth and fire and water you know like they can all do everybody's thing if they put work into it and if they practice enough but it takes time but naturally organically these signs that you see here are meant to be working with these elements of our reality. This, this, this is what comes more intuitively to them, happens naturally. So from what you see here and what your zodiac sign is connected to, what element your zodiac sign is connected to, work with those elements first. Try to practice with it, be patient, understand it. it and, and just remember, psychonesis doesn't require a lot of work. It just requires you to just let it happen, let it let it occur. You grow when you don't try. You just let yourself feel, and it'll just come. It'll it'll just do it. So this is Matt Cat's favorite Cispidus. Go ahead and try your zodiac signs abilities, and try to dabble in the other abilities, and you'll be able to do it in time. Thank you.